Okay, we're here at King's parking lot, my local supermarket, and this is one of their ornamental flowering trees, which is has leaves that just look terrible, those that remain. But what's really amazing is it's flowering again. Uh, this is Coldbrook Road, which ends sort of at my driveway. It's a little dirt road, and I've taken pictures here many times. But now that I can work my camera, I'm going to give a view of it. It's continuous. Down there is the Coldbrook. Beautiful little creek. And I think it should be pretty clear that there are an awful lot of dying trees out here. There's no fall color to speak of. All you see is some green and a lot of brown, brown leaves and bare branches. And um, the corn looks really creepy too. It used to turn golden in the fall, and now it's just brown. It's really ugly. So, uh, this big dead tree is where my flying squirrel came from. I came by one night and it had blown over, and the flying squirrel had, had lost his home. So he landed on my windshield, and I took him home, and I called him the whippersnapper. You can see in the distance that these trees are in very bad shape. This is not what fall is supposed to look like at all. <laughs> we should be getting orange and red and yellow, and instead we're getting brown leaves. Like even way out there, you can see. The crowns of the trees are turning brown. Oh, we're, now we're a little further down Colbrook Road, which is almost exactly a mile long. Uh, you can see from this tree, looking at the leaves closely, closely, that they're turning brown. Not a nice color. And they're falling off. So this is a view, it's a beautiful afternoon. It's been raining like crazy off and on all day, but now it's cleared up. And the sky is lovely, the temperature's right around 70 degrees. It's beautiful, we got some beautiful cloud formations. And some dead trees. Dead and dying. When you zoom in, you can see how many of those branches are already bare. There's a bunch of dead ones down there. And that one, leaves are turning brown. Okay, here we are at another huge pasture, another farm, at the other end of the Coldbrook Road. And we're still seeing the same miserable trees that were at the other end of the Coldbrook Road. Some are just thin, and others are completely bare. Uh, I was going to finish this video 
up on Cold Brook and not film at home again. But um, then I just noticed this tree, which uh, is a big old ash. And it's got a really spectacular break up there that's new. And it's no wonder because it doesn't have any leaves. I'm going to walk around to the front of the house so you can see it. So this, this is a giant old maple in front of, this is the house where I lived when I was married and my children were little. And then, then I sold it and I uh, built a new house in the back, further back in the woods. But this tree was another one of those maples that turned a beautiful, beautiful orange. Bright, burning orange. And now, you can see it's not going to do that. Th this tree is doing what a lot of trees are doing, which is that they're just covered with dead seeds. clumps and clumps of them. It looks terrible. Here's um, some young sapling maples that were thrown off by that big tree that have been allowed to grow up. Yeah, all the leaves are like that. This is what I mean about trees being covered with seeds, dead seeds. <laughs> These aren't leaves, they're uh, seeds. And there's another really big ash in the back that's doing the same thing. They already cut down uh, a really big one last year. That was in the front here. And then the one that they left is this one that just had that amazing break. There you can see it. And there's a, um, a pine tree that is, well, it was here when I moved here, and so it's 30 years, and there's almost nothing left to it. It's lost so many needles. It used to be a solid wall of green. but not anymore. Now this house was like my dream house. It was built in 1770 by Dr. Oliver Barnett. There's uh, the one barn in the back. And there used to be a, a mill on the Cold Brook, but that burnt down uh, just about a year or two before I bought the house. So this old oak, this oak could be as old as the house for all I know been here for a long time and it's hollow inside. There's an opening that's um, pretty big that my daughter used to love to crawl into and one day she went in there and fell asleep and I couldn't find her anywhere and I was frantic and I finally found her there in the dark with a flashlight. She had brought cushions in it. She had like a little house. Anyway, unfortunately this oak is having the same sort of problems with the leaves. <laughs> They're turning brown. 